What's up guys, Tony Rican here, and it's time for a really cool dinner that you won't feel guilty about. I'm gonna be making a buffalo chicken stuffed spaghetti squash. That's right, you're gonna get all that flavor of buffalo chicken, but it's gonna be kinda healthy, so you won't feel guilty about it. And you know what this is, this is awesome. So let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into this one. So for this, you're gonna to wanna to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Once it's warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and prep that spaghetti squash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and cut off both ends. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half and scoop out all the seeds. do is I'm going to go ahead and take these, put them on a baking sheet, slice side down, I'm going to pop them in the oven for about 30 or 40 minutes. That should be long enough for the inside to get nice and tender. Now, while these are in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and prep my chicken. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of coconut oil, drop it into a pan, get it nice and melted, then I'm going to drop the chicken in there, put a little bit, uh, about a half cup of water in there and let it go covered for about 20 minutes. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and take it out and shred it with a fork. Once that squash is done in the oven and our chicken's done being shredded, we're ready to move on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that squash and just take a fork. We're gonna go ahead and scrape out the insides. To that, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken, our buffalo sauce, then going to dice up some celery, some green onions, and some red bell pepper and mix that all together. After I was done mixing everything all together, I went ahead and I scooped all that chicken, spaghetti, squash, everything back into those shells. I'm going to pop those shells in the oven for about 15 minutes and this one is done. And once it's done in the oven, this one's ready. Now check this out. Personally, I added a little bit of uh, ranch drizzle on there, a little bit of more uh, fresh green onion and then a blue cheese crumble, just because that's stuff I like. You don't have to, but trust me, it really puts it over the top. I mean, just look at this. This is a great looking little meal. You know how I know it's great though? Not by looking at it, by going ahead, digging in, and giving this one a try. This is simply amazing. You guys will love this one. It lets you have that buffalo chicken without any guilt. So go ahead, like this video, share the video, leave me a comment down below. If you need complete step-by-step -step printable instructions, check out AverageGuyGourmet.com, subscribe to my channel, give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.